Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So if you have a lot of Wi-Fi stuff in your home, I'm going to show you how you can help reduce the load on your Wi-Fi. Because sometimes having too much stuff on your Wi-Fi can slow down your internet speed. Okay, for me, I do a lot of streaming. I stream from and to the internet. So most of my TV viewing come from streaming from Netflix or Amazon TV, Pluto TV, or any other streaming service that I can use. And my home is a multi-level setup, so I had to get something strong enough to handle upstairs and downstairs. And I featured this item in one of my videos it's called the Netgear Orbit. And the kit that I have comes with two. The main one attached to the modem, and that's where the internet comes in from. And then this is the satellite. That's why it's labeled right here, satellite. So this one goes downstairs and takes care of the lower level. But I have a lot of Wi-Fi related products that actually rely on the Wi-Fi signal. And also I have a lot of device that's got an ethernet port. So I try to utilize the ethernet port as much as possible and leave the Wi-Fi for the things that only can access the internet through the Wi-Fi. Because the less thing I have on the Wi-Fi, the less load and I don't have to worry about speed issues. So to help ease that load on your Wi-Fi signal, what you wanna do is get one of those routers that actually have an ethernet port in the back. And this one that I have actually has four ethernet port on the back. Now, the cool thing about the Orbit system is, each one of these base that you buy comes with ethernet port. So the main one that's connected to the modem right now has four ports in the back. So I'm utilizing all four ports right now, but also I have a bunch of hubs that need to be connected to the internet also for my security cameras, for the Ulight system, my Uber home phone service, and all of those hubs have the option to connect to the ethernet port. So right now I don't have enough port to support all those hubs. So what I did was I got a network switch. And with the switch now, you can use one port that's coming from that router and share the rest of the ports with it. So this is a five port. So this will support four more devices, but you can also daisy chain it. So you can add another switch or you can actually get a bigger switch that support more ports. So depend on how much device you're gonna have connected to the ethernet ports, you basically just wanna get the one that has enough ports to support it. Now, depend on what kind of device you have, not all devices need to be connected to the ethernet port. It depends on how much usage or how much internet access I should say they need. Now for me, all my streaming device, I try to get them on a hard wire connection instead of have them running off the Wi-Fi. It helps reduce all that buffering because sometimes you know you get that little hiccup in the Wi-Fi signal and it's not like I have slow internet speed because my speed is up to 200 and something plus megabits per second, something like that. But it doesn't mean that you still can't have hiccups in the Wi-Fi signal. Now unlike the Fire TV box and the Fire TV cube, these Fire Stick don't have an ethernet port built in. But Amazon has made it possible with the extension. So in this box right here that's been sitting on the table, there's actually an ethernet adapter that you can add to your Fire TV stick. So let me get the Fire TV stick out of this box because this is brand new, I haven't taken it out yet. I need to hook it up to my TV. I just haven't got to that yet. So this is the Fire Stick and you know this is where you plug in the power cord. Normally the power cord would go here and then the other part will plug into the adapter, just like this. And this is how you actually hook up the Fire Stick. And then you plug into your HDMI port. But when you wanna add the ethernet connection to this stick now, what you would do is you would buy the adapter from Amazon and then you would plug it into that same port. Then this power cable would actually plug into the ethernet box itself like that. And then your ethernet cord will come here like this and then you want to plug this either in your router or one of these switch boxes and that's how you get this off the wi-fi and hardwired and once you get it hardwired then that's going to reduce your buffering because sometimes you might get a little buffering it all depends on your internet speed but now with this being hardwired i think you're going to reduce your buffering at least 97 percent now don't hold me to that because you know internet speeds change but now at least you got one less load in your wi-fi signal and you get less interruption but really you don't have to get any of this it all depends on how much stuff you got connected to your box right here you might run out of ports because you only got four ports on this thing so eventually you're going to run out of port on this one and this is the satellite so i can use this right now into that port and then if you really want to, you can get more satellites. So you can keep adding more satellites to your setup. So here's what I would recommend. If you have any kind of streaming device, whether it's the Fire Stick, the Fire TV Cube, your TV, your Xbox, or anything that require internet access, and it has an ethernet port, I would use it instead of the Wi-Fi signal. And you can make that possible by getting one of these routers that actually have the ethernet port built in, 
or you can get one of these switches and expand your ethernet ports and you don't have to get the one with five you can get the one with eight there's one with 16 so get whatever you need depending on how many devices you got to connect through the ethernet port and another plus in going the wired connection instead of the wireless with the wired connection you don't have to actually remember any username or password okay so that's going to be it for this video like i said if you can take your load off your wi-fi by plugging it into the router just like this because a lot of things are wi-fi enabled these days and we get so reliable on the wi-fi but the Wi-Fi also get boxed down. So you want to make things as hardwire connected as possible, if it's available. Okay, so I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down there in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.